Do you know when it's time to catch a pineapple? Hello my friends, welcome to another Lisa video. Today I'm going to talk about when I am ready to cut my pineapples. Now yes, I am a nerd because I am wearing my pineapple t-shirt for this video, so don't mind me. I just really wanted to talk about when is the proper time to cut a pineapple. Pineapples have an enzyme in them called bromelain, which can cause a lot of blistering in the mouth. They are also quite acidic if you cut them too early and can burn the mouth. A lot of people don't do pineapples because it burns, can cause upset in the mouth area in the mucous membranes. So I want to talk about when I will be cutting this pineapple. I bought this pineapple about four days ago, maybe five, and it's not ready yet. A lot of people will buy a pineapple and cut it maybe the next day or in two days or when they feel it might be ripe. They don't really know when exactly they should be eating the pineapple. And then they eat it and it's still quite white inside quite sour and then they say, oh, I got a bad pineapple. It's not that it wasn't, it was bad. It's because you didn't let it get enough time to ripen on your counter. Sometimes pineapples can take about a week or 10 days to become perfect before you actually cut them open. Now, if you look closely, this pineapple is really close to being ready. You want to have brownish orangey areas in your pineapple and you don't want to have very many yellow and green areas. You want them to be more orangey. That means that, that the fruit is on its way to being ripe. As you can see, there are a lot of green areas still. So I'm going to give this one another couple of days before I'm ready to cut it open. You also want to watch the leaves. When they start to get really, really dry, that's when you know that it's almost ready to eat. Another thing that you can do is smell them. This one is starting to have a little bit of a fragrance. You will know that it's ready to eat when you can smell it from about a foot away. If you get really close and it starts to smell like it's fermented or smells like wine, you know it's gone too far. When you start to smell that beautiful, delicious pineapple scent, that's when you know it's ready to go. But you really have to smell it. I can smell it if I go really close, this one, but in the next couple of days, I'll really be able to smell it and that is when you want to cut it open. The final thing that you can look for, and I know a lot of people feel that their fruit has gone bad, but on the bottom, if you do happen to have a little bit of mold, it's okay. You're going to cut that off anyway. It doesn't mean that the fruit is bad. Most of the pineapples that I open have a little bit of mold on the bottom and it's not the end of the world. Now, once you cut your pineapple, there is something that you can do if you feel that a pineapple is a little bit too strong for your mouth. The best tip that I can give you guys is to soak your pineapple in a little bit of warm water, not hot water. You can let them soak in the fridge, but I don't like to put it in the fridge because they get really cold and I don't like eating cold fruit. So I keep it on my counter in a little bit of room temperature water for about an hour or two to help the enzymes to dissipate into the water. It also helps lower the acidity of the fruit. Pineapple is one of my personal favorite fruits. I love it more than bananas. I love pineapple more than mangoes. Uh, the only thing that I would say ties would be a really perfect nectarine. <laughs> I think nectarines might actually be my favorite fruit of all time, but they gotta be a good one. Otherwise, they're not that great. They taste like wood. So I hope this video helped anybody out there if they had any concerns when deciding when to cut their pineapples. Pineapples are amazing for anti-inflammatory and they are very high in vitamin C and other cool, awesome things for your health. They are great to add to a raw vegan diet and they add a lot of flavor. So I hope you guys like this video. Please click like if you did and subscribe to my channel to get notifications for more. You can find me on Facebook at Lissa's Raw Food Romance, as well as on Instagram at Raw Food Romance. And I'm also on Snapchat, Lissa Raw Vegan. So until the next video, guys, enjoy your pineapple. Lots of love, fruit on.